welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. This is episode 69 and I am your host, Christoph Ambrosch. On February 4th is the date. For those of you who are sports fans, it is Super Bowl Sunday, uh, Eagles and the Patriots. I am not a sports person. However, uh, I will be watching, and the reason why this is relevant to this podcast is because the opening ceremony will include 15 Medal of Honor recipients. I actually do have their names right here. Woody Williams will be the one doing the actual coin flip. He is a, uh, a Marine that received the medal in for, for his actions in World War II. Uh, along with him will be Bernie Atkins, uh, Army Vietnam, Don Ballard, Navy Vietnam, Sammy Davis, Army Vietnam, Roger Donlon, uh, Army Vietnam, uh, Sal Ginta will be there, Army Afghanistan, Flo Groberg will be there, Army Afghanistan, Tom Kelly, Navy Vietnam, Alan Kellogg, Marines, Vietnam. Gary Luttrell, Army, Vietnam. Walter Marm, Army, Vietnam. Robert Patterson, in Army, Vietnam. Leroy Petrie, Army, Afghanistan. Clint Romache, Army, Afghanistan. And James Taylor, Army, Vietnam. So they will all be there for the coin flip and the opening ceremony. So I will be watching, only for that. I'll probably leave it on for background noise, commercials, and... Uh, a halftime show, you know, the things you kind of got to do when you're uh, when you're American on Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, even for those who don't like sports, it's kind of a, a staple to have. But getting back to episode 69 is being brought to you by The Bearded Detailer. Head on over to thebeardeddetailer.com for all of your automotive detailing solutions and be sure to use the promo code TOH10. That'll get you 10% off your order. And for all orders that use that promo code, 75% of the profits will be donated to the Congressional Medal of Honor Society. The Bearded Detailer, where your dirt is his business. And now, a tale of honor. Milton L. Olive III was born on the 7th of November, 1946, in Chicago, Illinois, and moved to Lexington, Mississippi, where he finished high school. He joined the U.S. Army back in Chicago in 1964 and within a year was a private first class in Company B, 2nd Battalion Airborne, 503rd Infantry Regiment, 173rd Airborne Brigade. Milton deployed to Vietnam in 1965 and it was his actions on the 22nd of October that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty, Private First Class Olive was a member of the 3rd Platoon of Company B as it moved through the jungle to find the Viet Cong operating in the area. Although the platoon was subjected to a heavy volume of enemy gunfire and pinned down temporarily, it retaliated by assaulting the Viet Cong positions, causing the enemy to flee. As the platoon pursued the insurgents, Private First Class Olive and four other soldiers were moving through the jungle together when a grenade was thrown into their midst. Private First Class Olive saw the grenade, and then saved the lives of his fellow soldiers at the sacrifice of his own by grabbing the grenade in his hand and falling on it to absorb the blast with his body. Through his bravery, unhesitating actions, and complete disregard for his safety, he prevented additional loss of life or injury to the members of his platoon. Private First Class Olive's extraordinary heroism at the cost of his life above and beyond the call of duty are in the highest traditions of the U.S. Army and reflect great credit upon himself and the armed forces of his country. Milton's body was brought home to Lexington, Mississippi, and on the 21st of April, 1966, his father and stepmother received his Medal of Honor from President Johnson in a ceremony on the steps of the White House. Two of the four men that were saved by Milton's actions were in attendance when Milton became the first African American to receive the Medal of Honor during the Vietnam War. Olive Park in Chicago on Lake Michigan Olive Harvey College in Chicago, and the Milton L. Olive Middle School in Long Island, New York, were all named in his honor. Milton L. Olive III is buried in the West Grove Missionary Baptist Church Cemetery in Lexington, Mississippi, and his name can be found on the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall, panel 02E, line 131. 
And that was a tale of honor. Thank you so much for listening to Tales of Honor podcast. And if you like this podcast, please be sure to leave a nice review, a good rating, and tell a friend. Good chances are, if you're a sports person, you're listening to this the day after the Super Bowl because, well, who's going to take a break from the Super Bowl to listen to this little old podcast? But if you do take a break, make sure you tell your friends what why you're doing it and what you're listening to. Hey, can't watch the Super Bowl. Tales of Honor podcast is on. I gotta listen to it. It's only gonna take you know five to ten minutes, depending on the day. So I gotta do this. It's pretty simple. We can spare five to ten minutes, right? You can see more information on Facebook, Instagram, and at Tales of Honor Podcast dot com. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to Tales of Honor Podcast at gmail dot com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening. <laughs>